Hey everyone, and welcome to Tech Talk with Chad, and in this uh, continuation of the series I was doing a while ago, um, this is the final episode of my Linux Mint 9 Fluxbox series, uh, and in the previous few episodes, I um, downloaded it, installed it, uh, did my first boot and everything, and uh, now, in this final er, part of the series, I'm going to be reviewing it. So, uh, this is Fluxbox, basically. Uh, and what you can see right off the bat is a very clean interface. <clears throat> but there's a lot of stuff going on behind the interface, too. For instance, we have a faster install time. If you watch my installation video, it installed in 7 minutes. The entire thing installed in 7 minutes. Very fast installation, <clears throat> faster boot time, and uh, we have extended long-term support available on the site, which is awesome. Um, and, uh, but, but the appearance is one of the main changes. Uh, we have the better look and feel, uh, the backgrounds are new, the welcome screen's all new, the update manager is all new, and, um, <clears throat> something new, there's no menu bars until you right-click, and all your menu bars and everything are in one right-click, so you have all your menus and all that right here, uh, and, I mean, look how fast that is, just anywhere you want, there's your menu. Uh, down here, a very nice, sort of semi-transparent, uh, clean little interface taskbar. Uh, very nice. Um, and uh, under some more under the hood improvements, we have uh, a newly revamped software manager with over three hundred thousand or thirty thousand packages. Uh, and you can review applications straight from the software manager. Um, and there's also uh, visual improvements made to the software manager. I'll just uh, open that up right here to show you guys. Now this is running in a virtual box on one gig of RAM, so it's not the fastest thing, but it is very fast for one gig of RAM. And uh, as you can see, yes, our software manager is new, uh, new looking. Uh, if you've run previous versions of Mint or any other uh, operating Linux op operating system for that matter, but uses the software manager, uh, this is new. It's split up into uh, little clean little. Uh, Segments here, so you can go to system tools, sound and video, everything. It's all it's all right there. You can see the reviews uh, right here, and uh, I mean, look at that. You can see, see the reviews right here. You can write a review, and uh, I mean, it's it's very very clean. This has all been cleaned up. Every single program in this has been cleaned up, refined, and uh, overall made better. Um, we have a new backup tool. Uh, you can get have in incremental backups. Uh, uh, it'll support compression, integrity checks, um, and you can uh, back up and restore uh, the software selection on the system too. So that's nice. Um, <clears throat> another thing that uh, that it's uh, it, I mean backups they're essential, and uh, it's nice that we're seeing some refinements to the backup tool as well. Um, system pr improvements. Uh, we have these quotes now that uh in the terminal in the uh the terminal emulator but now we have uh you know new quotes uh every time you open the terminal which is a nice little thing uh we have a usb creator a local repository and um uh, I, I mean there's there's a bunch of refinements you can see all these refinements and tunes on the linux mint website at uh, linux, linuxmint.org um and speaking of the internet, we saw Firefox right there, one or two clicks away, um, all here. Uh, and I mean, we have all the programs here. Um, we there there are some refinements to the programs. Uh, they've taken some stuff out, replaced some stuff. In clusters, we have Catfish, File Uploader, Calculator, Image Viewer, uh, the Terminal, Leafpad, uh, and Managing Print Jobs, Screenshots. Um, we still have GIMP as the main graphic editor. Firefox as the main web browser, Thunderbird as the main email client, and Pigeon is still the main instant messenger. XChat IRC. Uh, OpenOffice has been replaced with uh, Abbey Word, uh, Gnumeric, and Osmo. Uh, we, we don't have OpenOffice anymore. Uh, sound and video, we have um, you know CD rippers and everything. Uh, VLC is still the main media player. And the system tools. Uh, System tools you should be all familiar with. Nothing new here. Uh, then we have this Fluxbox menu, which is just basically uh, advanced options for 
flux bucks and your uh, your workspaces and everything. So uh, this is just a quick quick review of Linux Mint nine Fluxbox the RC and just uh, telling you you know some of the brief uh, the the improvements that they've made to the system and how they've made it better and uh, look forward to the release of the full version of Fluxbox which I will be downloading and installing and uh, testing against the stable version of Linux Mint nine um, and also I'll be testing it against Ubuntu so uh, I'll, uh, hopefully look forward to some of those speed comparisons there. Um, and really, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, have a great day.